This video is for anyone looking for that family style home with tons of storage space, open floor plan, beautiful kitchen, and a lot of space for everyone to spread out and enjoy. What's up guys, my name is Michael Lee, your realtor of the Palm Beaches, and it's my job to help you find the hidden gems in Palm Beach County. Whether that's a $5 million home on the ocean or a beautiful town home in the middle of the city, please just consider subscribing to the channel where you guys can stay updated on new neighborhood tours as well as property tours. Now, today I have a beautiful, beautiful property to show you guys something that just hit the market. Uh, this is, I think, the quintessential property for a family that needs that tons of storage space. I know we all need storage space. So we are going to be in the neighborhood of Frenchman's Landing in Palm Beach Gardens. Now, Frenchman's Landing is a small community of just 229 homes. The homes start from two bedrooms and they can go all the way up to six bedrooms. This particular home today that we're going to be touring is going to be four bedrooms, two and a half baths, a little bit over 2,600 square feet under air, meaning everything that's inside the home is gonna be cooled off and the total square footage of the home is gonna be a little bit over 3,500 square feet. So take your time out, enjoy the video, and let me know what you think in the comments. Let's go. Alright guys, so welcome to Frenchman's Landing. We're on the first level here. Property is going to be four bedrooms, two and a half baths, over 2,600 square feet under air. So the first thing I would like to point out in this house are the ceilings, the vaulted ceilings with the wood beams. Now I don't know if they're real or not, but it definitely makes you feel like you're not in Florida with that. So you come in your house and you definitely have a different feel. Also, tall ceilings as well. So you do have a feeling of open air when you walk in with the vaulted ceilings, as you can see with the outside of the house. Um, so let's go to our right. Now, initially I thought this was um, a flex space, but this could kind of be maybe your main living area, your main show space where you're not really spending too much time. You kind of have that area of your home where you just kind of like to show it off or maybe you're expansive furniture or furnishings that you don't really sit on or have your custom pieces that you don't really like to sit on too often. This whole area, I think, could be a space for that. You also have a space with a bar area here. So you have your wine fridge, you have your additional storage space up top. So this space could be also a flex space as well, where you can have maybe a setup for drinks or maybe just a setup for conversations in your nice dining room table here. And also just maybe a conversation area piece where you have your beautiful furniture. So this is kind of how it would feel with that space here. Reason being, let's check out the back area. So we're gonna enter in through the side area for the kitchen. Now, there is another entrance straight through from the front door and I'll show you that in a second. But as you enter your kitchen, you have stainless steel appliances, six burner gas stove with the grill. If you need to, if you need to have all that additional space, you have your microwave here, you have your dishwasher here, you have tons of counter space. So this thing is really, really built for families. You'd love to entertain, but it's really, I think, built for families because of the expansive counter space, as well as the dining room table here with the bench seating around on the back. And look at all this cabinet storage that you have. I mean. If you don't have a pantry, this is as close as you can get to having a pantry without having a pantry. Double storage fridge, which is massive. I don't really open up the channels, the, the fridges on this channel, but I mean, that's a commercial style fridge right there. You know, so if you have a large family and you need to live in a space that needs storage, I mean, you can't really be the kitchen like this. You have tons of storage space here as well on each side. I mean, you do have your custom furnishings, your custom finishes. And I do love the backsplash because the backsplash does complement the gold accent pieces. So I did like how they did. French stove, I don't know if this is, 
Oh, this feels like wood. I'm not sure what material it is. I'll have to check in the list. Farmhouse sink, of course, with the gold accents as well. They even did it down to the custom drain, guys. So they did an excellent job on refinishing and remodeling this house for the new potential buyer. Now, as we swing around this way, like I showed you earlier, this would be probably your main dining table for where you eat every day, especially if you have children. You can just line them all right here and just sit them down and just you still have eyes on them from the kitchen and then you still have ample space for everybody to sit down. And it's very low, you can add some cushions there. You have access to the backyard, so even if guys are out there playing or you have entertainment, you do have access to the backyard from the kitchen. Now here, it's kind of like where everybody would most likely spend their time. You have your relaxing couches here, maybe a cloud couch from Restoration Hardware. You have your ceiling fan here to keep everybody cool in the summertime. And this is one of the things that I did not anticipate seeing in the house, but they already kind of have a setup here for you as far as your television. So, I mean, you really can't beat it. So, excellent, excellent job. And we're also not finished with the downstairs. So this is just one half. So, like I told you before, this is the front of the home where we entered before. So if you wanted to have guests not enter your nice area where you have your furniture, you have other guests that's meeting on the other side, you just want to come straight back or you're coming in from, you know, the house from groceries, just come straight through, straight into your kitchen. Now, right here on the left side, you do have a small guest bath, half bath, you know, for your guests that are entertaining. Wallpaper, bamboo style. And custom matte black, matte black, really well done. Really well done. Here, additional storage. You can never have too much storage space. Now, this door will lead you to your two-car garage, so you can come in from the garage every day and just go right here to the kitchen and drop off anything that you need to. Again, they really took advantage of creating storage, so you don't have a lack of storage anywhere. So this is under the stairs, and they created some additional storage first. Now, given that this home is four bedrooms, they did a wonderful thing by putting the primary suite right here in the back. It's right off the kitchen, but it's almost hidden away because you don't know that this thing is back here. So you do have the opportunity to be on a first floor. So this can be a forever home where you guys, if you guys are getting older and you want just the first floor to be the primary suite to be on the first floor, you can. Ample, ample closet space for his and hers. Just pick a side, whoever has the most stuff, or if you just want it for yourself. Recess lighting throughout, and it's right into the bedroom. So you just throw your stuff in the closet and kick back. Now, the primary suite does have direct access to the backyard. So if you are having some guests over anytime, you just have to put up a window treatment and you should be good to go with the sliding door, or if you just want to get up in the morning and head out, you can. So let's check out the primary bath. Simple toilet setup, enclosed shower. So I'm a tall guy, you have dual shower heads as well. So one of the things that you don't normally see is this little small piece of glass here when you enter a frameless shower. So they added some extra height to the frameless shower. So they added this little custom piece here just to, just to make it level and make it symmetrical all throughout. You have your rain shower head, as well as a handheld, as well as the wall shower, and then your space for your toiletries as well. Custom sinks, dual sinks, and you have three mirrors. So if you wanna look at yourself, you don't have any shortage of mirrors. Now, so it's big on storage. So wonderful job on having the towels in here. And that's gonna complete it for the first level. So let's move upstairs. All 
Right. Up to the second level, where you can have a nice view who's coming in, who's leaving out. Now, an interesting thing about this, if you see these in this, in particular houses, normally this is for if you have a desk set up or an office space and you don't want wires going from your desk all the way over to the wall plug here. So if you had like a desk or a small table here and you want to put some wiring in, you can put the plug in without having to go to the wall plug. Tastefully done. Ceiling fan. Space isn't that large upstairs for the flex space, but it is just enough to where, you know, you maybe can have a small seating area, maybe a small television if you want to keep the kids upstairs and not have them go downstairs and, you know, create some habit. All three bedrooms outside of the primary suite are upstairs. Vaulted ceilings in here, so you do have high ceilings throughout. Closet space as well. The second bedroom of three mirrors the first, just opposite vaulted ceilings as well. We'll check out the third bedroom, which is the largest of the three. And you have a view of the front yard and a little, little bit more square footage in the front with recessed lighting included. So this would be the largest of the three with the vaulted ceilings as well and closet space. Now we'll check out the bathroom. It mirrors the primary suite's bathroom as well with the matte black finishes. And if you can check out this towel work in the shower, very unique. I haven't seen much of those before. Normally they'll go with the white subway tiles, but this looks like it's almost kind of like a thick epoxy finish, but it has some designs in the back. Pretty unique. Upstairs, pretty straightforward. Let's check out the backyard space. All right, welcome to the backyard. Now this lot, is a little bit over 9,200 square feet. So you not only have prime square footage on the interior, almost 3,000 square feet on the interior, you do have a total of 3,400 square feet total, meaning some is not under air, some is under air. That's how much total square footage that you have. But this backyard space is very, very nice. As you can see in the Florida, summers and winters mosquitoes are still an issue so you do have a large screened in patio that includes the pool because we all know mosquitoes love water so the fact that the entire pool area is screened in is great so you can have a nice summer day not have to worry about coming in and out from the pool maybe possibly mosquitoes getting in and then you do have maybe what one two three four five ceiling fans out here so you don't really have to worry about being hot because you have ample ample fan usage we conclude the video just show you some shots of the grass area because you still have some grass so guys if you like this and you're interested in seeing a little bit more about this property or you just want to join the channel like and subscribe and don't forget i'll see you on the next one peace